Welcome back. I'm joined now by Nick Colgraft, lead data scientist at Accenture. Nick, thanks so much for being with us. No problem. What's the difference between data science and analytics? I think the main difference is really their problem solving abilities. Um, when you get down to the essence of kind of what people are looking for in a data scientist, it gets back to kind of fundamentals because you're looking for kind of an agnostic person. When you start building data products, depending on the product, depending on the situation, depending on the types of data that you're dealing with, um, the different types of stacks and whatnot that are involved with it um, could be very different. So you're really looking for somebody with some very agnostic qualities in what they're doing rather than kind of a uh, traditional stack or traditional stool, tool set that's generally used. Do you find that people are using those phrases interchangeably? And if so, is, I mean, is there a harm in that if they are? I do feel that there's a lot of people using those terms interchangeably. I think the reason for that is one of, I mean, maybe misunderstanding or not necessarily exploring the question of what is data science deep enough. I think there is harm in the fact of using them interchangeably because what happens is you start to mask something that actually exists um, and we don't want to do that. We're trying to kind of get to next generation analytics and if we start masking things interchangeably, people will start to kind of think that there's nothing there. And in reality, with a lot of the really cool innovative products that companies like LinkedIn and you know, Netflix are, are dishing out, there's something different about those products than traditional style analytics, mm -hmm. and I think uh, we need to recognize that and explore deeper you know, what that really is. Right, so the terminology does, it does matter. It does matter. Do you see data science and analytics evolving along different tracks? You know, I think that's a tough, I think that's a tough question. I don't necessarily see them evolving along entirely different tracks because uh, I think a reason for a lot of the confusion is that there is a lot of overlap in you know, both different topics. Um, so maybe not different tracks. I think they'll converge at some point and it's just going to become kind of like a natural thing that when you're faced with a problem, here's how we start approaching solving that problem or modeling that problem mm -hmm. um, and really just converging towards geometric thinking. So in your role at Accenture, um, you see the, the various data issues companies encounter. Yeah. What's the most common issue? I mean, is it you know, dirty data, lack of resources, that type of thing? Yeah, I think those are, I mean, so those things you mentioned are a lot of the common problems. Um, in reality, I think if you get beneath all of those things and start um, figuring out what is the root cause, you know, why do we have dirty data? And start asking those kinds of questions. I think the essence of that is communication, actually. And at the root of it, it's not just you know communicating uh, between team members, but it's kind of communicating about the data, the data dictionaries on top of those data sets, what that data is and how it got there. And knowing that different data sets across the organization actually exist. I've been in multiple situations where literally was just surprised, like, oh my God, that data set actually exists. There's just, I think, a lack of communication about data across companies uh, that needs to start happening. And I think that's the root cause of a lot of those problems. Thanks for being with us, appreciate you taking the time. No problem.